kids, today we're going to be tide pooling at Odeon Point. We're going to be showing you the different tidal zones and what you can find in each of them. Our tide poolers today are going to be Miss Caitlin and Miss Jessie. They're going to help us find some really cool stuff. Our first zone is the intertidal zone. This is the zone in between the highest tide and the lowest tide. It becomes exposed during low tide and there are lots of really cool pools that you can look in. Um, to find things, you can lift up seaweed or turn over rocks. The first organism that we found are barnacles. So these are organisms that like to stick to rocks. They also filter feed. Our next organism are limpets. So these are basically snails with suction cups on the bottom, and they like to stick to rocks as well. Next we have periwinkles. Um, these can be found in the splash zone, as well as all throughout the intertidal zone. Um, these are basically snails that can close up their little door if they get too dry and keep themselves moist until the tide comes back out. Um, we also found some more limpets and some barnacles. These like to live together on rocks as they both like to cling to rocks. Um, next we found some blue mussels hidden under the seaweed to help them stay wet. Um, these are bivalves, so they have two shells on either side with a hinge that help them close and to stay wet. Turning over rocks is a great way to find things. This is how we found a lot of our crabs. Miss Jessie is helping us turn over a rock there. So the first organism we found under rocks were crabs. So this is a rock crab. The species is native to New Hampshire um, and is pretty common around the seacoast area. They can also be found in the subtitle zone. The next species we found is a green crab. This is an invasive species that comes from Japan. Um, they are very, very common in the tidal zone and are only really eaten by seagulls. Um, so the next zone we're going to go into is our subtidal zone. This is the zone below the, high, uh, the low tide range. So this zone is usually underwater for the whole time. Our first organism we found is a sea urchin. So these guys are in the same family as sea stars. Um, and they have little tube feet to help them hunt and to help them camouflage. Our next species is a rock gunnel. So this is a really small fish. Um, we found him underneath a rock. They usually like to be wet, but they can survive out of water for a short amount of time. The next species we found was a lump fish, which is also a small type of fish. Um, they have a suction cup on their belly that helps them stick to hard surfaces. So the next thing we found was another rock gunnel. So again, this is just another small fish um, found in the subtidal zone to intertidal zone. We found it in the intertidal zone here. Um, but we just found it by turning over rocks. But as you can see, he has a little bit more of a red color on his skin than the other rock gunnel we found. And this is totally normal. Yeah, so that's all the organisms we found today. So there are tons and tons of other organisms that we didn't see today, like sea stars or lobsters or Jonah crabs. Um, tons and tons of other stuff that you can look for if you come out into the intertidal zone. So thanks for watching and helping us find some really cool stuff.